Good morning, folks. We'll begin with a calm shot of the volatile Mount Etna volcano in Italy. She woke up for a puff last week. Folks, when the White House opens the door, I'll take that as my cue to make an announcement. But first, the latest space weather observation and mitigation report is out and it's one of their better ones. I picked out some of the simplistic bits here which are few, but for advanced Healy observers, this will test your metal. If you aren't an expert in this stuff, it is only marginally helpful though, and it's one of the better resources out there. So as much as our unpreparedness to deal with the worst aspects of space weather is revealed as a problem, the lack of explanation and education on this topic makes their call to the public a bit moot. In a press release accompanying their report, the White House plays Captain Obvious in stating that there is no space weather TV channel yet, but that everyone is welcome to monitor the sun. I have told many of you that I would be making some full-length educational videos, and I am, and the first is well into production with a hopeful release date in mid-May. It'll be called How to Watch the Sun, and in addition to showing you how to read, understand and pull all these charts and data for yourselves, it will dive into topics like the Mega Flare and many others, and for the first time, we'll have apt visuals to accompany that discussion. Hope to get a trailer out next weekend. On to that space weather where the second half of a Gamma Burst double tap came right after the news posted yesterday. Finally, another one out of the southern celestial sky. Solar wind telemetry here shows moderate density fluctuations still at low levels. Speed finally dropping off in yellow with almost no variation in the plasma temperature in green below. Finally, our magnetometers look quiet after a coronal hole rocked our shields two days ago. Inductions are slowly fading, the magnetic instability is completely gone, and we haven't seen anything else on the way. Earth facing quiet in terms of solar flares continues. Looking at the active regions, we have two major sunspot groups to investigate. First, down south, this spreading region is in development of sorts and has interacting magnetics. What began as a front-heavy alpha-class umbra quickly morphed into an extended back-heavy flare potential at the interaction of opposing polarity spots right there in the middle of the group. You can tell the red portion needs to grow a bit more. Just behind that longitudinally, but on the northern hemisphere, we have one possible spot in the middle where the magnetics are mixing. Looking at this active region over two days reveals a bit of decay. Another one too shy to flex on stage. Thing about decaying sunspots though, their magnetics do continue to morph until the active regions disappear. Earth footprint on the northwestern quadrant of the sun. Remember east and west are flipped as we look from Earth. Clear symbol, not grainy, means we're on the Earth side magnetic connection. On the right you see all 10 points firmly on that footprint. For those curious about the right side of this, match these sunspots on this side to these over here and do the same as you follow my cursor. The blue image is the earth facing half but the gray portion is the full disc flattened so the right side being completely on the back side of that blue sphere out of view. Speaking of flattened, I did it to the umbral fields in Corona Hole Carrington rotation from Gong for you here. Now when we jump back to the disc, besides the green encroaching the eastern limb, notice the opening closes up and the blue lines bunching beneath that one white protrusion up top. That protrusion is the backside Corona Hole, looking dark here to face Earth in the next 36 hours. Watch for the blue lines to part or tilt as the hole faces Earth and Saturn opposes the Sun. We are in a minor quake watch due to the combination. The eastern limb put on quite the fireworks display in the last 24 hours, even without a single significant flare. I'll let you spy on her while I depart by reminding you that the product of years of hard work is being pieced together as we speak. Nobody's more excited than I am. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.